Hello world and welcome to another Web3 is easy tutorial. If you want to do something like buy, sell, or trade NFTs on OBJKT, you're going to need to use a wallet like Kukai, which runs on the Tezos blockchain. This tutorial is brought to you by Satoshi Succulents and we are a NFT collection on the Ethereum blockchain focused on educating and empowering a intersectional Web3. To find out more, follow us on Twitter or check out our website. In this tutorial, we will use the Kukai Wallet app, secure our 24 word seed phrase, and log into our wallet so we can interact with the Tezos blockchain. To get started, go to Google search and type in Kukai Wallet app. Select the first hit, kukai.app. It'll open up to the wallet landing page where you have the option to sign in with socials in the bottom left corner. In this demo, we will use the Web3 wallet, which you can create by going to the upper right hand corner and selecting create new wallet. This page titled back up your seed is extremely important because this seed phrase gives total control of your wallet. The seed phrase is basically a really long password. Take out your paper and copy the fields, date, blockchain name, app slash wallet name, and label one through 24. There's a link to this file in the description, which you can print for free and write your seed phrase onto. Once your paper is properly labeled and ready for documentation, hover your mouse over the words to reveal and then carefully copy each word in the exact order and spelling. When you are done backing up your seed phrase, click next to verify your seed. Using the words you wrote down, fill in the respective word numbers to verify your seed. Next, you will add a password for your wallet file and boom, your wallet is now created in the form of a downloadable encrypted file. When you click download, you usually see it pop up in the bottom left hand corner of your browser. Next, navigate to the home screen of the Kukai Wallet app. On the upper right hand corner, select import wallet. You will see different options, one which is key store file. You can drag and drop your key store file which you just downloaded or open the directory and select file. Type in the password you use to encrypt your file and boom, you are now logged into your Kukai wallet. On the top, there are two tabs, one that has your NFTs slash collectibles and the other labeled discover, which shows different apps on the Tezos blockchain. I included some extra things that you can do with your Kukai wallet. So first off, to buy Tezos, there's a big button that says buy on the left hand side of the screen. If you click that, it'll open up to the MoonPay interface. You can enter your first name, last name, date of birth, and you know the drill. I won't go through each of those steps. To log out of your wallet, look in the upper right hand corner and select sign out. Another thing you might want to do is log into your wallet manually using your seed phrase. In your browser, go to kukai.app, which should take you to the landing page. In the upper right hand corner, you'll see import wallet. Click the tab labeled seed phrase. Reference the paper that you use to back up your seed phrase to carefully fill in every single word, one through 24, exact spelling and order. Add a password for your extra layer of security. Download this key store file because you can use it to import your wallet in the future. Drag and drop the file that just downloaded, enter the encrypted password and boom, you are logged back into your wallet. Whenever somebody needs to send you something, you might need to get your address. If you look in the upper right hand corner, there's a button that says address along with a copy button in the bottom right hand corner so that you can copy and paste and share your Tezos address. Excellent, you are now ready to go with your Tezos Kukai wallet. If you like this content, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and check out Satoshi Succulents on an Ethereum blockchain near you. Thanks.